Okay, we want to work on part 2e here and try to make a, a section view of this part that we have with all the holes in it. So um, we're going to come up to new and have an English uh, inch ANSI part here. So we'll start a part. We're going to get a base view here. And uh, we're going to get a... Um, let's make this... 1.5 to 1 and make sure you're on part 2e I'm gonna get a top view here and I'm gonna put the top view in here instead of the front I'm gonna put a top view and I'll click on there and then I'll just right click and click OK um, let's get um, ISO top right put that over here let's color that right around in here okay and that's all we really need for that because what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna uh, do a section cut through here to expose what it looks like inside so um, the way we can do that is right here where it says section um, we can click in there and then we highlight the part that the parent view that we want to use which is this one so we're gonna click on that and then um, you come in here, you're going to draw a line, and we want to split right down the middle. We don't want to start right there. We kind of want to start out here on the edge a little bit. And we're going to click that and go all the way through until we get there. And then we're going to uh, we're left click, and then we're going to right click, continue. <clears throat> and uh, let's see if I go up, it's going to give me a section view pointing, pointing the arrows a different way. So um, we want a full slice. It's all the way. So we're going to bring this down here and put it in there. And so now we have a section view. You'll see it's AA. And this the arrows show which way you're looking. So we'd be looking into the side of this. And this is what we would see. And we have all these nice uh, hash marks here through the section lines, through the, um, the matter, the material. And then it says section AA. Um, the scale is 1.5 to 1. So that's all really nice. So we're going to dimension this thing now annotate it so we click annotate first thing we want to do is probably put um, you know center points on our our holes it's a good thing to do and then maybe uh, center lines down through these okay and uh, couple dim basic dimensions we're gonna put our depth down here on this one which is good and we're gonna do a, a little baseline thing right here there to there to there right click continue bring that out here so you can see that the holes are on a line at one inch in and it's two inches and all the way um, we're gonna do let's do chain let's practice all our dimensions here let's do chain from here to each center except for the last one right click continue bring those down right click create and then we'll just do a regular dimension all the way Remember, we don't chain everything up all the way usually. We do a kind of an overall, and then you can figure out the last one because you know this one minus all of these. Okay, so we got all those on there. Okay, and then the more complicated thing that we have left is uh, is whole notes for these things. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to do a dimension, and I'm going to grab this one and bring it up here. And uh, you'll see it says a diameter of 0.75. Um, well, that's the diameter of the uh, the counter bore thing. Um, so what I want to do is I want to come in here in the beginning, and uh, we're going to put in all the whole dimensions that we have. We have a lot of symbols over here we can use. So the first thing is the diameter was uh, 0 0.50, and then there was a depth marker, and that was uh, two inches and then we can hit return and then we had a the a counter bore and then we had the 0.75 which is what we had right there and then we go behind there and we do a depth of that 
was 0.5, 0. We can click OK, and, and we have that one on there. Okay, so we can do the next one. So we'll grab this, come up here, and we got a diameter of one inch. Okay, so we need to go in front of this, and we need to get a um, diameter symbol, and that was 0 0.50, and that was through, that whole one all the way through. Then we'll do a return, and then we'll do a, um, a, a countersink symbol. Then the 0.75 um, diameter is what we had, and then we'll do a depth on that one of uh, 0 0.50. And uh, I think that, yeah, diameter was the was one. OK. OK. Got that one. All right. Let's go to the next one. Diameter of 0.5. Okay, so um, that's really all it was. We had a diameter of 0.5, uh, but we did have a tolerance on this, so we had a plus minus um, 0 0.002, and that one also went through, so we'll say through on that. Probably put a space in there to make it look a little nicer. And then we got our last one. We had a diameter there of 0.38 or 0.375. So we have to click in here in front. And we needed a diameter symbol. Um, and we had 0.25. And then we had a depth of uh, 1, 0, 0. And then. Um, we had a, this is a counter bore too, and the diameter was 0.38, which is what that already says. So I'll go behind there, and then we had a depth of 0.25, and I think that's good. Okay, so uh, these whole notes are kind of difficult to do, so you, you got a lot of symbols and stuff in there that you have to throw in there, but uh, I think that was not bad it's pretty good so we come down here again of course and sign our name to the title block and then of course you have to save this as a JPEG also